hello and it's not often I actually start a convention vlog the day before the convention that's where it's gonna happen we've um, we've went to the hotel but it's not ready for us yet and so we're just kind of walking around Manchester um, <laughs> we've seen a few people who were like mm, they're probably going to Megacon and this is the person who I'm staying with <laughs> Hi vlog, Violet. <laughs> yeah, that's Violet and we're staying in a hotel for the weekend. Um, we were meant to have two other people but they had to back out for financial reasons so we ended up changing our hotel to just like a two people one. Um, not really sure what we're going to do for the rest of the day. We've obviously got to feed ourselves but for the most part we can just sort of hang out and sort out our cosplays when we can actually check into the room. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of sweaty, I'm a bit tired. As soon as we exited the Manchester train there were so many angry people, like someone got their prop broken because some woman just bashed into them. Um, when we were just stood still, Violet like found some of her friends and so we were talking and this dude just came and like pushed through us um, and we you know we were like off to the side so we weren't even in the way um, and then when we were outside trying to sort out the uber we watched someone get an entire bottle of water thrown at them and then the person just walked away so we were a bit scared <laughs> to say the slightest because neither of us have actually like been in Manchester like this before and so we were a bit scared we got an uber to the, the hotel so <laughs> that's how Friday is currently going They've got the sign out the front showing that it's going to be here tomorrow. I wonder if I'm going to be on one. I don't think they released the photo that they took of me last year. Will they? Did they just not use my photo? Maybe? Yeah, it's just like the same three photos. <laughs> okay, well we got in the hotel room. Um, I'm putting on a coffee because I just feel a bit dead. Uh, I need to properly do Silver's little ponytail. I only very quickly sorted this out. There's no hairspray or anything in that. Um, comes tomorrow and I've got my stuff hanging up. <laughs> little cosplay wardrobe. I could probably do with Silver up, he's a little bit scraggly because of the fabric. Oh my god, it's like a burst at the top there. The wig will cover it, the wig. <laughs> I do have some like sewing thread with me, so I can always like sew it or just put some hairspray on it or something. Um, I think I was finally done boiling. It's like the slowest kettle I've ever seen. Styling. Um, obviously, the top bit's all done. I just need to fix the ponytail bit for uh, tomorrow because this was in this bag down here. Yes, it was in there. And it got a little bit messed up on the train, obviously. Um, not really that bit, it was more or less the, the ponytail bit at the bottom. Which is fine because I brought myself a comb, brought a little hairspray, so uh, yeah, just gonna sort that out. I'm gonna go have a body shower because I was sweating from walking around Manchester earlier, um, and I think after that I'm just gonna go sleep. Oh, I need to check the LEDs as well in silver. It's all just dumped down here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I need to just check the batteries and all of the LEDs and yeah, I, I am so exhausted. Um, I just, <laughs> I'm like on that weird thing where I'm like bordering on a headache. So, yeah, 
Oh, I also raided downstairs. I have, this isn't, this handful I'm going to show you isn't even all of them. There's even more in my bag. <laughs> when I went down for, for food, I was like, I'm going to take those because I don't, I don't like the milks. I don't like the milks here. They taste horrible. So, um, I just need to sweeten my coffee up a little bit. And those sachets are like a little sprinkle of sugar. Because I used like four packs earlier for my coffee and it, it didn't taste great. It, yeah. Okay, so this vlog's gonna go up when, you know, after I've gone. So I might as well record what's outside my hotel room. It's just construction, like there's some big cranes there, um, and yeah, it's just like a main road. Um, the comms up that way? Yeah, the comms up that way. Um, but yeah, I'm mostly just facing a main road and some construction stuff, and yeah, this is how bright the sky is at 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. right now, uh, which is why I'm trying to be quiet. Um, but yeah, that's that's my hotel view. We're like on the technically second floor. Um, yeah. This is innovation. So I needed to lint roll these because it's got like I don't even know what fluff on it. It's either Bonnie's fluff or just like fluff from other cosplays. But yeah, I've just put some tape on my mini hairspray and I'm just rolling it around and look how look how well that's working. Like it looked like this before. And now it doesn't look like it's got anything on it, so yeah. Innovation. I'm at the convention, it is Saturday at like half ten I think, and here is what that currently looks like. Yeah, um, I'm already sweaty, and <laughs> yeah, just bleed. Hi! <laughs> and yeah. I don't, I don't have any plans for today. I'm just gonna walk around and see what happens. But hopefully I remember to film stuff, because I always forget to, I always drop the camera there. Oh, you I need to <laughs> Or just, if the camera's there, feel free to film it yourself. Yeah. I really don't care as long as the camera don't go. So, guess who I just ran into? Infinite! That's so cool! <laughs> You got a tail? You've got a tail as well. Look at that tail. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's, it's like a um, fursuit version of Infinite, which you don't really see that much with like Sonic cosplayers. Like a lot of people go the like humanoid route. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, it is. I love the mask. I really love the mask. Wait, give them a POV through the mask. The just. Look at how blind I am. So you, you can barely see through that side. You can see through that side. Yeah. It's a struggle. Honestly. No, that is that is really cool. So <laughs> um so it's currently 1 pm. I feel a bit dead. I keep going through bursts of energy and my back hurts and um <laughs> we have found so many Sonic cosplayers. We've run into one Sonic, one Shadow. Obviously, you saw Infinite earlier. Uh, there was a movie Eggman as well. Um, it's been. We've had a few photos. People have recognised us, but they've seen Blaze first, and then I've turned around because someone said Blaze, and like, then they're like, "You silver!" Because you blend into the crowd more, and like I'm just like on the. Literally You're literally purple. <laughs> I like. I don't know. From the back, how? Like I don't know. How do I look from the back? You wanna hold that? 
Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised. I thought people would recognise you first. Yeah, no, I don't know. Oh, please! And she's not in as many games. I think Blaze is just like more. Maybe it's because she's so obscured. I think she's more recognisable because there's not as many like girl characters in Sonic. Um, and she's one of the cool ones. Yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. That's like, my opinion. <laughs> the three main. The three main girls they use is like Amy, Blaze, and Rouge. It's not often that cream gets in. <laughs> so, I mean, it makes sense. She's literally like six years old. <laughs> I mean, Tails is there. Tails isn't like that, like old. And Charmy gets in for fuck's sake. <laughs> Where was Cream during Amy's birthday? She wasn't allowed, I guess. I don't know. Too young. <laughs> too young for the murder mystery party. <laughs> oh man. Look at all the people waiting to have photos with her. The costume is so cool and it's like got robotics and stuff and like the eyes are glowing. The eyes do blink and like look around. It's so cool. And it's like, yeah. I, I just wanted to show you guys this awesome costume.
a huge cheer. Okay. And now the final award. Our overall category. Will we get one more drum roll going? guys and oh my god was that sweat then oh my face you can see how sweaty my face is that's um <laughs> so yeah as you can tell i'm back in the hotel room um again megacon had their like masquerade not finish until after the event was done so as soon as i got out there it was basically like okay we gotta go now um I've, I am tired, I'm hungry, I probably should have put more food in my bag, um, or I should have just ate more <laughs> during breakfast, I don't know, um, but no, I'm ready to, like, just shower and eat, and probably pass out, um, <laughs> and then do it all tomorrow. Now, apparently... Um, with tomorrow, so the trains are on strike this weekend, and so what Megacon have apparently done is allowed anyone with, like, just a Saturday ticket to be given access tomorrow. Um, again, I've only just heard it, like, I don't know if they've put, like, an official statement up anywhere, but... Supposedly, because of the train strikes, they're going to let anyone um, who has a Saturday ticket to Man uh, like Manchester Megacon to also attend on the Sunday. Again, I've only just heard it, so I don't know if it's true or not. I've not been on my phone or like on social media for most of the day other than to give people my Instagram. Um, but no, I'm, I'm tired. I just want to get out silver. Silver is a sensory nightmare. Not only are the gloves horrific, but like you can't bend your wrist properly in them. Um, you can only bend it up to like there. You can't like bend it all the way back or like forward either. It's more like, yeah. So those are horrid to get on because it's glove with LEDs sewn into it and God knows what. Um, Obviously the wig is literally, I I don't want to take this wig off, it's going to hurt. Um, and then this, and the turtleneck, I'm sweating, I feel like death, I feel like I shouldn't have sat on the clean bed. Look, the bed has been changed. Wow, the wonders of hotels. And these, these boots... They are so goddamn sweaty because they press the um, trousers like against my leg, at, like the shin part, and it gets so sweaty and it feels horrible. Um, I I just want to get out of everything and just eat and sleep. Well, Sunday. I'm entangled. My you can't even see my tail. Tail was there. And it's relatively full, I guess. I've just walked down here by myself. 
got a few, you know, stares of people like, what, what, what's that? Um, but yeah, I'm here now. I don't really have anyone to meet today, so I'm just going to go around and exist. Um, there is a few artists who want to see Tangle, so I'm going to head over to them and just see who I find, really. I don't have any plans, so I might as well just go around. <laughs> Well, guess what? I had to do a little, little bit of sewing because the uh, the fabric is like ripping on the magnet. So if I don't want the magnet just sticking to my back and leaving the tail behind, then I've had to just make a very disgusting job of it. And I'm hoping it holds for the rest of the convention. If not, I am going to have to, like, completely sew the magnet in place, which wouldn't be too hard, because this magnet that I use does have a hole in the middle of it, so I would be able to do it. It's just whether it would hold or not. And I'm not sure if there's even, like, a cosplay, re like, repair station anywhere. There is Cosplay Central, which I haven't properly looked at yet. So it could be that there is like a repair station. Whether they'd have any like extra fabric or not, I don't think so. It'd just be like glue and stuff. And to be honest, I don't really want to put glue on it in case I want to like change the magnets or something. The battery's about to die, so I shall go. Just like always, I don't record that much on Sundays just because it's more chill and I don't know, I just, there's not really much happening so I don't tend to get the camera out as much. Um, but yeah, it's like 30 minutes until the convention ends. There's like a Barbie meetup happening near the like beach chair. Uh, like, I don't know, they normally have a like Tokfest beach chair with like a, a beach background there so there's just like a little Barbie movie meetup there um, and <laughs> I'm getting stared at by the tail <laughs> okay so um, yeah someone was just pointing at the tail I've got the, I've got the tail currently down you, you can't even see just how oh, there's an announcement I can't hear what they're saying. Also, my mascara. Oh my god, look at my mascara. Why is it only on that eye? Why is it only that eye? It's the end of convention, but I shall fix it. There we are. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you saw this. I didn't buy this, by the way. It was like a, um, a thing, if you could find a silver disc on like any artist tables and that bus at the back there that has like all the games you can play and stuff would give you this like buff bunny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just, we went around for ages trying to find one and I got one, um, yeah. It's really all I can say. There's a lot of people who are just amazed by the tail. So many like little kids, like little four-year-olds be like, look at that tail, daddy. Like, yep, <laughs> it's a very long tail. Okay, hello. Um, so yeah, I've taken most of the tangle off. I'm just about to go in the shower, but I remembered I got a blind bag. So, um, I kind of hung around outside the convention centre after I had like walked out and there was a Rainbow Dash cosplayer giving out blind bags to just anyone. So I picked one up, it's got one of the uh, new generation ponies on it, I, just, I don't know my name. Um, let me open it, let's see what's in here. 
Is there a way I can take it off without ripping the sticker? Okay, this is good enough. There we are. What's in here? What is this? Oh, the stickers. Oh, there, there's another sticker. There we are. Okay, everything's out. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a Maoam joysticks. There's scissors. Oh my god, I've not seen these in ages. Uh, there's a refresher as well. Maoam blocks. Oh, it's the, the cola one. Mm. I don't know, I've not had cola in ages, so maybe I will like it. Um, these mochi cats, I don't actually have one of these, so cool. And then there's a couple of pride stickers, and then there's a raccoon that says love yourself, and then there's... Oh, it's a YouTube channel! So they must have been giving these out to promote their... YouTube channels. Okay, so is that on the back? Uh, hi there, thank you so much for taking my card. I hope you enjoy your little bag of goodies. If you did, please consider supporting a fellow geek with a dream. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or just simply check one of my videos out. Okay, I don't know what content they make. Um, let me actually have a look. Okay, so the hotel Wi-Fi was just too slow for me to actually load anything, but that person does like horror gameplay videos. Um, so yeah, if that interests you, then their YouTube channel is Raccoon Reload. But yeah, talking about the weekend, it was very different to my usual convention weekend um because i had to take a train to get to a hotel and like stay in a hotel from like friday to monday uh so it was it was an experience i also hadn't really planned like what to do at the convention like i knew i'd be meeting purple octo cosplay on the saturday because we were doing silver and blaze together but other than that, I really didn't have any plans for the convention itself. So, especially on the Sunday when I didn't really know anyone there. I was mostly walking around by myself and just talking to the artists, but I did make a few new friends and like I ended up hanging out with some new people and stuff. And I will admit, it was definitely my most lonely convention. And to explain that, of course, I just mentioned I didn't really plan what to do on the actual, like, during the actual convention things. But also, me and my roommate Violet had completely opposite, like, convention routines, which we didn't realise until the Friday. Um, so where, like, my routine is to get to the convention as early as I can, and then just kind of chill after the event um like that's my routine violet's was to get there at like 12 or 1 and then after the convention stay out get food and like basically go around manchester in cosplay until like 10 or 11 pm which a lot of people do but yeah because of our completely opposite routines i was mostly just alone in the hotel room after the conventions um which to be honest we were supposed to have more people room sharing with us so it was just one of those things that happened but despite the difference in our routines violet was so lovely and considerate of the anxiety i had for the entire weekend she even bought a slightly more expensive train ticket just so she could take the same train route as me and i think the reason why i hadn't planned much for the convention itself was because i was just so anxious about the train journey and all the hotel stuff that i just didn't want to think about the convention leading up to it but yeah everything went fine and I know what to plan better for future cons where I do need to take a train and stay in a hotel. But yeah, this is the end of the vlog and if you would like to see the photos from the event then head over to my cosplay Instagram 
that's where those photos will be uploaded to. But yeah, that was my Megacon Manchester weekend, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.